Okay. Genosis. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot that Kashyyyk was already contested. Activate bonus. Sabotage. That's uh, up to you, Bell. Let's go with reinforcements. Reinforcement. Keep it uh, authentic, I guess. Enemy reinforcement count is dwindling. <laughs> Alright, well, you do what you're gonna do. I'm gonna go after the Techno Union chips. Techno Union chips. Destroy the Techno Union chips. I think, I think, yeah, we spotted the same one. Is there another one? Yeah, it's across the way. Damn it! And there it is! Can I have a spot problem? <laughs> no! Oh, no, screw that! I'm taking a last ship! Better hurry, it looks like it's about to take off. Better hurry, I'm expecting company. I'll be honest, this map seems a lot bigger than the other do, but... Yeah, I can definitely agree with that. <laughs> Just kind of switching places. How would that work? You, you just no, like you, one guy you, running you around. Could, you couldn't do yeah. mid-flight. Nobody's that good of a pilot. Oh, nice little like, cover. That's sick. I like how if you want one of the positions in that ship is just one of the reinforcements looking at everything. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's very cinematic. Yeah. It ain't me! It ain't me! <laughs> <laughs> and we both decided to, independently, we both that decided to target the that exact, <laughs> the exact same spider joint, yeah. <laughs> wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well, you leave the attack and I guess I'll be a support. I wasn't aware the lat ships could just cover like this. I thought they had to kind of move in like an aircraft. I think that's how it is in the second game. The first game. Okay, so these are like echo base. <laughs> um, excuse me, ship. What the hell? Hey, I'm flying here. Hey, I'm walking. <laughs> what? What just happened? The spider droid spawned on top of me, but the collision detection wasn't sure what to do, so it just exploded. Nice. Which really took most of my health with it, but... And now it's just spinning. Now well, this tank's gone, but... Hey, uh, this tank will go with it. We've destroyed the Techno Union ship. Hey! We both targeted one, and there's only one left. Please don't hit me. I, I won't. Whoa, what the heck? It's getting destroyed. Oh, yes. okay then. Well, that was strange. Enemy forces have captured a command post. Over there. Well, I think after this we had to play the game. Assuming that that's another one, but if worse than the worst, we'll just go against it. Well, that's what I mean. Because I need, I need to see what that one is. Sure. Around the survivors, a perimeter creates. You're leaving the battlefield. No, I'm not. You're one millimeter off course. Stop the deserter. Sounds like Call of Duty. <laughs> oh, hey, we also have our own ship. But what's on our side? It's some sort of station. I never really figured out what it was supposed to be. That's the thing right there. Alright, well, I'm just gonna park it here and see if I can take over the spot. Oh, I guess it's like a Republic landing ground. No, we're, we're actually losing commanders. Let's make sure we can't lose. At least we destroyed the technology. Let's see. Alright, I'm going after the derelicts. Excellent. I want you! We've captured a command post. 
Yeah, I'll just say that. <laughs> Alright, we. If we at least disable the spy, that'll definitely put a dead Oh, shit, that's what Duca was in the movie, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, I'll be honest, this is a much cooler map than the, than the uh, second game. Definitely. Are the two versions of the home planets as well? The two maps? Uh, no. Oh, that's a bit of a bummer. There's only one Geonosis in the game. We need time out and count DQ. DQ. Do you want to see one of the Legend of Zelda creatures? I was going to say, Baker Nuts. Baker Nuts. It's a pity there's only one of this whole thing in the entire map. And it's only in the spire. And if the droids don't have any The spire! Dark spire! I see a Droidica! Dead. Dude, I freaking love the ATTE's main cannon. It just, it crushes everything. Yeah, it's not great for infantry, but like, if you're targeting a turret or a stationary object, like, it goes down quick. I want this command post. Honestly, the, my biggest issue right now is dealing with a freaking driver in this thing. Oh, yeah. It's difficult to aim on in motion. Which stands to reason. It's like poetry in motion. Sheesh. At least I'm keeping this place a neutral battleground, but it just keeps getting swarmed by someone. Mm. Yeah, screw it, I'm just gonna hover. Gotta fly now. There's a Hellfire tank that just drove right into one of our ships and is just sitting menacingly. Kind of a fun thing with this game is if you do it right, you can just land on top of people and that kills them. Um, I think the Hellfire tank just drove away, it just sped off into the desert. Maybe it took a shot to the brain and just lost all sense. I don't understand it anymore, I guess. No! Can a droid go AWOL? That's a really good question. Separatist forces have captured the spire. The problem with the whole spire thing is the idea that it takes a very long time to capture it if you're the clones, but it's really fast for the droids. You know what? I like the asymmetry. Yeah, this is just a cool map. Well, if you can send anyone to the spire, it would be much appreciated. How about I pick up this droid gun? That could work. I missed! Yeah. Oh wait, I see it. I got it. Damn you! I should be. I should find it funny or impressive. I am the angerist now. Again, this isn't really a bunker. It's just sort of a cropping of rock that they built a small thing. Then put one of those cannons nearby. Like, granted, it's a fortification. It's not a bunker. Like, this does not match the description of what a bunker is. 
Punk is more attack. Yeah. Like, the second version definitely has a bunker. Has a few of them. But, like, this is not a bunker. It's way out in the open. Yeah. You take that side, I'll try to take this side. Oh, do we have the spy already? Right? Yes. I, don't know. I haven't actually even take, set foot inside the bunker this whole game. Just too much to do outside. Oh well. I'm gonna take a look! We at least destroyed the technology. Hmm. I'm just too used to saying that. that now, those themselves don't do anything, right? They're just a place for a joist to spawn in? Essentially, that's about it. You destroy them, it's like destroying the fan posts. That's why they added that one little document there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like on, uh... On what is it? On Endor, there's the, uh, shield generator bunker. Mm -hmm. Which, in the second game, they decided to turn into a regular command post and it can't be destroyed. Which is really stupid. Also, because... That was kind of the point to going there in the first place. Right. <laughs> like, in story and in game. Why else would you be taking out the shield bunker? There we go. Good team, Just down. completely raining everything that we could on. It's raining drugs! <gasps> oh my that sounds God. quite painful. It's just raining shrapnel. Although, in a war scenario, that's... Enemy forces have captured a command post. We've yeah. captured a command post. Come with me. I'm trying to think. It would probably be slightly worse if it was raining droids, because they could potentially throw themselves at you. Oh, I'm stupid. The clone pilot can also heal himself. Yes. Take that, medical droid. Now you're alive again. Now it's my turn to kill you. <laughs> I gotta lay down. <laughs> <laughs> that was like two seconds from being an awkward <laughs> pose. Hey buddy, what you doing? You know, just playing around. Damn, I wasn't even second best. What the hell, I captured three command posts. Beta 33 didn't do any of that. I think it's just Beta kill 30. count, it's arranged by. What? Well, so, yeah, second game has like an actual point value. Headshot. One headshot the whole game. That, you got the only headshot that game? I got a headshot. That was it. Wow. So, if my memory serves me correctly, that's the last battle, I believe. Let's find out. Yep. Yay. Nice. You know, it just occurred to me that this game probably predates General Grievous. Yeah, it does. For episode 3. Well, Grievous might have existed in the, yeah, the cartoon Clone Wars series. Alright, right. well, you said you wanted Kamino. I will give you Kamino. Yes, we have Kamino. Tipaka City. You just passed this. <laughs> and just for fun, I'm going to throw in Hoff because come on. Okay. <laughs> come on! I like how you can have it play in order or play in random order. It's two maps. <laughs> I don't think the second game has that function. Then again, I don't play instant action that much. I mostly just do Galactic Conquest on VP. The main thing the second game has is just the ability to put all the maps on there. Yeah, right, I'm sticking with the clones. Yeah, choose all maps, choose all uh, such and such. All game modes. You'll just be playing for like hours at a time. Which I was prepared to do anyway. Since I was introduced to the game for the very first time, my cousin had it at his house, and he's just like, here, go crazy. I'm just like, sounds good to me. Yes, let's go. Right away. Right away, sir. Follow me. Yes, sir. Of course, there was also a PC version as well. Let's go. Right away, sir. Follow me. Yes, sir. Let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right away. You're already getting samples for your remix album, aren't you? Just so. I'm pretty sure somebody's probably done it at least one point. I don't know. You know, it only just occurred to me that the uh, the clones in this game are not painted like the final first. No, they're more 
they're they're just the generic clones. Mm-hmm. And they've got the phase one on them. Because attack of the clones. Mm-hmm. So it's Raiden Kenobi. Yeah. It's funny, I'm like, a lot of this game could only have been, like, 2004 or 2010. What one of the two? Something like that. Because, like, a lot of that content was inspired by the second game, or the second film, and not the third. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, the map basically has the same aesthetics, it's just different land platforms. Tactical roll all. I would try my sniping ability, but uh, I think we're running a little low on the first. I mean, I can worry about that if you want to snipe. In fact, that'd be very handy for me to just cover my position. First things first. Got him. Well, I didn't select before it worked, did it? I guess you did. I don't see him anymore. Don't wait. Um. Ah! That's not what I wanted to do! I was trying to roll, damn it! I believe it's, uh, jumping for the world. Yeah! Jumping for the world, right? You can jump to the side and that's how you roll. That doesn't look cool if you look at this. Oh, I see. Never mind. You can try it the other way. As in, you're gonna come at that from a different direction? Yes. Beta 1, beta 2. I'm guessing it's alpha 1, alpha 2, okay? I would guess so. It would kind of make sense that the names would be kind of generic like that. That's <laughs> the same names as the soldier, though. Really. Epsilon. Bro. Because apparently the Greek alphabet exists in the Star Wars universe as well. <laughs> Although the alphabet itself looks very different. Because remember, we're not speaking English, we're speaking basic. Plus, I think on top of that, I think in Return of the Jedi, at least, the Empire kind of had their own form of writing, almost. Yeah. I'm not sure what they called it, but I just remember saying it. I'm like, well, that's different. Whoa! Boy. Alive! <laughs> I didn't get killed by it at least, but I thought I was gonna fly off the edge. My gosh, what happened to you? Just make another wish. Oh god, I keep reloading at the worst times because it's the same button I would use to target in the second one. Damn! What's cool is the EMP grenades actually showed up in the CGI Clone Wars series. Later on. So, like, those are, in fact, canon. I never really had a chance to see that one. I saw a little bit of the... Uh, it is... I believe it is on either Netflix or Disney Plus. I don't know which it's looking. Could be on both at this point. <laughs> I don't believe it is. Well, I know, like, most Star Wars content is now on Disney+, Plus, but, like, the most recent movies are still on Netflix because they had the contract first. So, like, once that runs out, then it's gonna be Disney+. Plus. Makes sense. And the rain and, and, boys, I can date this video in the better Yeah! Yeah! That was anticlimactic. If I was in a movie, that'd be the equi- equivalent of me rallying the troops going, Jump! Jump! I've lose the nerve immediately. It would make it dramatic, but at the same time, it's just like, wow. What's the point? It's the, that was the best in our class. Sticking with the sniper. Hey John, what do you call a baby with a gun? Infantry! 
Uh, <laughs> I knew it was going to be one of those creepy words you jokes. Yeah. I just couldn't think about what it was. I feel like it would have gotten that eventually. Oh wow, it is way too clean in this hallway. You know, with a lot of uh, on-screen textures in the Pooh Tools, especially in Episode 1, there's a lot of hallways that are like, it's so obviously fake that they can only do CGI. Like, they just have, like, no dirt or anything on them. Even after a battle scene. Oh, shoot. This is the way, right? This is the way. I don't know if you've seen any of I was just gonna say, that is not a man to walk shit reference. It, it was. Mine wasn't meant to be. I haven't seen it. No, you, yeah, I was gonna say, you haven't actually seen it. Well, well when you I get the chance. The time, I've seen the first four episodes, I think the fifth one just came out, and so far it's very good. That'll also very much date this video. Because that would mean, like, it, it could have only been filmed over one week. And then someone's watching this video like, Heh, those guys don't know that the show's gonna end up sucking. Oh. I certainly hope that doesn't happen, but... Eh, it's just... I mean, so far it's... Dude, but... Cool. Get off it's... my planet, you droids! I'm, the same. It's I'm so sorry! <laughs> I just shot you in the back! Oh, wait, man, I killed myself. <laughs> No, it specifically said clone kill teammate. Oh. So that was in fact my fault. Although you may have may have put yourself in weak health anyway. What's I I think I'm just gonna send in a bombing. Oh dear. There's just so much going on. The game is lagging out. <laughs> Kaboom! Go away, Billy Mays. <laughs> uh, although I guess he was still alive when this game was made. Probably. Hi, Billy Mays here with Star Wars Battlefront. One of the fastest. Hey, I actually beat you that time. Hurrah! I died one less than you. Yeah, all right. One more. Yeah, let's go to Hall, oh. and then we can switch games. Yes. To the second one. I'm kidding. That's your choice if you want to, but we can do something else. Well, that would be an interesting concept. <laughs> Just be like, yes, we can finally change. I mean, hey, if you want to, but, you know. Let's see. Did you want to be on the same one again? Yeah. You pick. I think we got to be Empire, man. Alright. I've always liked the Empire. Oh, the Empire. We must destroy the shield generator. I'm moving up. I feel like you I was gonna say, is that a reference to... It wasn't the first, but it just seemed like it should have been. Okay, the command posts are different in this, but it basically seems like the same now. Mm -hmm. And, I'm gonna guess it's the same way in the second, it's been a while, but if you destroy the shield generator, that's... that's yeah, that's another command post. I also noticed that the AT-ATs are a little different in terms of fire. Like, there's only one solitary fire, it's a very powerful one, but it takes a while to reload. Oh yeah, they only have a refresh at least. So it makes trying to take down those snow speeders way more difficult. You know what else has been cut off? I was gonna say, where are you going with that joke, John? Nowhere. I'm honestly not sure where you of all people would be going to that good. Enemy forces have captured a command post. Oh crap, that just leaves it. Okay, I'm gonna capture the Ford camp back, because we need that. Yes. Yes, we do. Because if the AT-ATs go down, then we're gonna have to restart basically the starting now. That's not good. Our reinforcements are taking casualties. Our reinforcements are tinkling. That's not good. Destroy the shield generator. Could no, be. said it was! Jack Wagon? I would say that's better than a Chuck Wagon, but it really isn't. Jack Wagon. Taken from when uh, Harley Army started a Geico commercial. You know what? You keep going the ATAT. -AT, I'm gonna grab an ATST. 
and I think it's the same one that you're looking at right there. I'm just chasing down. That's what it looks like. Come back! I want to love you! I must view knows no bounds. <laughs> Look at a giant metal chicken. I'm gonna hit that. Man, that was kind of a running joke they always had in the Muppets, is Gonzo was always... Into chickens or something. Chickens. <laughs> Oh my god, it's right there! Thank you! Thank you! You know, maybe that's the joke right there, is he was always into chicks. Uh, well, that just mean they're juvenile. That's even weirder. No! Kill. Yep. I'll see if at least the second one can make it. I'm so preoccupied with taking care of the generator, I didn't see myself dying. First you go to the edge, and then you think about it. You must have the fourth Destroy the shield generator. I wonder if that game is... It probably still is. Is it still going? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, if you think about it, it's pretty much like a 3D internet forum, really. Yeah. Boom! We've captured oh. a command post. Okay, this one for sure. Which part? Boom! I'm even trying to go for the it is lovely. You just always you put that one on. Like, no! Am a nominee! Well, uh, I'm gonna attempt to take another one first. They okay, still so got Echo Base and it looks like the two adjacent One thing that always annoyed me about the Shock Trooper compared to the Jet Trooper of the clones is the idea it's more of a jump. Yeah, jump it, it, it's a it's a jump pad rather than a pad. Which I mean, some if you use it right, it's just as effective. But mm -hmm. yeah, not that nice. I didn't need to kill that Tom Tom. I just wanted to. Cause I'm the best. Can I fit in the hangar? Nope. I didn't fix it. Let's go. I do like the idea that the Millennium Falcon is in there. Just oh, jeez! This isn't what I thought it was. If you aim it on the person's head, it explodes in the top of Here's the thing! I, uh, I've only been playing the Engineer, and I've only been doing the vehicles. So I didn't realize he didn't have the same weapon! <laughs> I sincerely thought he was going to have the shock thing again. Their reinforcements are being depleted. I think the shock is... No, the shock was really just it was just in the second game in the shock trooper. Yeah. Which makes sense upon retrospect of the shock trooper. No, it's captured the hand. So if that was Echo Base, what are the other two? Uh, See if I can get to this before it explodes. I hear yes. That's how that's how I did it. Best thing I love about the snow speeders, landing on people. <laughs> It kills people! I think in the second game, to give that mortal launcher <laughs> to uh, the, imp, the imp commander. I think it's officer up there. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. Which apparently was also the voice of the professor in the power of the Really? Yeah, if you listen to it, you can kind of pick it up. Huh. Maybe. The other thing I know it for is the Rebel Soldier, the guy's name is Steve Plum, who did the voice of it in the second game. Mm -hmm. He did a few voices in Digimon, he was also the voice of Peep Blast, I believe. And more recently, he was the voice of one of these Stormtroopers in Rogue One. <laughs> so it's interesting to think that he's been both. <laughs> Neat. In the meantime, I'm gonna try a fun little evil killing stuff. I'm in the command center. I'm gonna land it. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> I didn't think I could go this far with it. <laughs> Somehow I think I'm doing better as a stormtrooper than I was as a You tell me what happens. Well, I guess it means that the Empire has better weapons. Maybe. Maybe like, well, when you get a chance. How did you do that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I landed it in the hallway. How did you do that? 
I mean, I've done it multiple times, but I well, threw it through the window, okay. but I didn't know it could go in the hallway. Okay, now I need to see if that's possible in the second game. That's amazing, yeah. <laughs> I didn't even I know mean, it was possible in this game. I mean, it's slightly inconvenient, but, you know, aside from that... Well, it kind of holds back the ongoing onslaught, I guess. Mm. Just take him around and pull him down. Come on around and pull him down! I'm just trying to figure out how to misappropriate that. This is really the only command post left for them, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, they're trying to retake the bay, the uh, hangar, but I'm going to do it. What are you going to do on that front? I'll try it on this one. Probably a border launch would probably make more sense. Okay, uh... We've lost a command. Yeah, they're going to retake the hangar, I'm afraid. Follow me. Enemy forces have no, my ship! <laughs> I guess it was gonna be Okay, I'm gonna send it in the dark trooper. This is the way. Victory is imminent. Indeed. It's just kinda of become a fair game in this area. Last game. I'm pretty oh. sure like at least ten of them are in that hallway. Okay, so now the uh, jet trooper has the shotgun, I guess. Mm -hmm. They swapped in the second game. That's weird to me. I'm sorry, I thought the shotgun made a lot more sense. Mm. Again, it's just because, you know, the shot thing surprisingly isn't that strong. It's super effective. I mean, if you can, like, flank a couple of people all glossed together, yeah, you can kill them all with one shot. You just gotta, you know, get ready for that. It's not very versatile otherwise. We've lost a command post. Um. How far did they travel? For some reason, these guys went back to the shield generator, which is already destroyed and they can't be recaptured. Whatever. Well, how are they gonna lose this base at least? Where is the rebel base? Talk! Where are your rebel friends now? <laughs> I do honestly kind of wonder if they're the in Star Wars. I feel like they were, but I don't know. It probably just meant to be. It, it might have been just like a generic graphic, yeah, some sort of dictator or something. Yeah. I mean, there's there definitely be rebels. In a I lot mean, of Sid things. would play the bad guy right there. For sure. Which, hey, I can respect that. I enjoy being the Empire. They're just the best. I guess it will depend. Like, I know in this game, the sniper is definitely more of an advantage with the rebel troops. Because, like, how the clones could only zoom in one, same with the Empire as well. There was only two more people, but uh, I'm gonna get that Wookiee before it takes the other command box. I'm mostly just scanning the environment. There's the last one. You know, in all my time, I've never gotten the uh, tow rope thing to work. Really? Because you can't really rely on the computer to do it. <laughs> and I've never been able to do it myself, because it means you'd have to quickly switch between the co-pilot and the pilot seat. I didn't find it, didn't wow, we, we did almost exactly the same. You got three more kills, though. Mm. Alright. Good match. So this has been Star Wars Battlefront 1. I thought this was Star Trek. The Last Jedi. You mean I have been playing as a Klingon this whole time? Maybe they want Genesis. I think I have it over there, actually. See you next time.